day 20 for such a time as this. Daily devotional. Why did you start this reading plan? You might have gone into this fast for desperate breakthrough because of a difficult situation. But today's reading asks a potent question. What if you're right where you need to be because you're here just for a time as this? What I mean is this. If you're expecting the worst, you're more than likely to get it or at least something undesirable. But what if you change your expectation from one of fear and dread to one of joy and faith? Could you go through a difficult time trusting God? Daring to do what frightens you, knowing that God is with you? If so, you may just be surprised at what God wants to accomplish through you. Today's reading is from Esther, who faced her own for such a time as this situation. A nasty death could await her for doing what God is leading her to do. But on the flip side, she was in a position to do something absolutely no one else could. What if you looked at your situation like that? Sure, you may be facing some difficult stuff, but whatever you're going through can also offer an opportunity to trust God to show up like never before. Esther faced her difficult choice by fasting and praying. Sound familiar? And God used her to save his people. What might God want to do through you in your situation or in someone else's? If you'll take time in fasting and prayer to cultivate a hopeful expectation of God's goodness, you will prepare your heart for his favor and his breakthrough in your life. I love what God told his people in 2 Chronicles 20, verse 17. You will not have to fight this battle. Take up your positions, stand firm, and see the deliverance the Lord will give you. Judah and Jerusalem, do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. Go out to face them tomorrow and the Lord will be with you. Take up your position on your knees in fasting and prayer with humble, specific, persistent expectation and see the breakthrough the Lord will give you. After all, you're here for such a time as this. Then Esther told Hathak to go back and relay this message to Mordecai. All the king's officials and even the people in the provinces know that anyone who appears before the king in his inner court without being invited is doomed to die unless the king holds out his gold scepter. And the king has not called for me to come to him for thirty days. So Hathak gave Esther's message to Mordecai. Mordecai sent this reply to Esther. Don't think for a moment that because you're in the palace you will escape when all other Jews are killed. If you keep quiet at a time like this, deliverance and relief for the Jews will arise from some other place, but you and your relatives will die. Who knows if perhaps you were made queen for just such a time as this? Then Esther sent this reply to Mordecai. But you will not even need to fight. Take your positions, then stand still and watch the Lord's victory. He is with you, O people of Judah and Jerusalem. Do not be afraid or discouraged. Go out against them tomorrow, for the Lord is with you. 